Alright, hi everyone, uh, this is Tony, KD8RTT. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to program uh, Yesu FT60R uh, using your computer and the Chirp software. So the first thing you need to do is you're going to have to get a programming cable. Here I've got mine. Um, you get these online pretty inexpensively. Uh, this goes to a USB port using the serial protocol. So what you're going to do is you're first going to want to connect it uh, to both the radio and the computer. Uh, the computer should install drivers on its own should automatically detect it um, and install that. Just plug it in like that. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to power the radio on. Now, the side here, there's this money button, this middle button, um, it's the monitor button I believe, they, they shorten it to money. Um, you're going to hold that and turn the radio on at the same time. If you notice, let me get this out okay. comes up with this uh, little menu. Um, you want to scroll around and find clone. All right. Once you find clone, you're going to go down to this bottom FW button in the bottom right corner. Press that. The screen will flash off. Come back on with clone again. All right. And now the radio is uh, more more or less set up. So now we're going to go overhead to the computer. Okay. Now we're on the computer, and as you can see, I've got Chirp already open. Uh, I'll have a link to it in the description. It's pretty easy to go there, uh, download it install it. It's, it's free and uh, it's pretty easy to use. So once it's installed, you're going to go over here to radio, download from radio, all right? Um, you're going to have to put in the make and model, and then for port, you're going to have to put the COM port that the serial protocol is connected to. Uh, if you're unsure, you can go to, um, this is on a Windows machine, of course, go to uh, start, right-click on my computer properties, uh, then device manager, and from there you can find out um, it's one of the serial COM ports is what, is what we're using here. So I'll set that to mine. All right. Um, on the radio, you're going to hit OK on the, the computer and then really quickly go press push to talk on the radio. So we'll do that. All right. I'm going to press push to talk. And as you can see, the radio switches to TX. And you'll see the progress bar uh, on the bottom. There's also one on the computer. But on the bottom, uh, go across as the radio is transmitting. So what this is doing is all the memory that's on the radio, it's going to show it on the computer. Um, even if you don't have anything on the radio, you need to do this first. So the computer sees the settings of what radio you're connected to and um, will let you then upload a new memory file to the radio. So this takes a few seconds. Um, and there it looks like we're about done. Okay. So now we'll switch back to the uh, computer. Um, as you see here, I have... Um, Two memories I just had programmed in here, um, one of the local repeaters and one of the weather channel, uh, weather stations. So as you can see, if you right click, edit, um, I can, it opens this, oh, right click, edit, it'll open, I can edit um, what's on there, if I want to add another one, same idea, I can put another one of our um, local repeaters and I can put what you want the alpha tag to say. So this will be displayed on the screen of the radio. You can put tone, um, let me go back to that, and do tone, um, power, all that sort of thing. Um, mess around with that. Set that how, to how you want it. Put in a bunch of different memories. Um, and then, this part's pretty easy. You're gonna go to, back to the radio. You're gonna click the Mani button again, which is the same one we used when we turned it on, right in the middle on the side, but right below push the talk. Press that, the radio switch to RX, then back here on the computer, you're going to go to Upload to Radio. Alright, same COM port, hit OK. And similarly, um, it'll show the progress of it receiving uh, the, the memory uh, file back to the radio. So uh, this usually takes a little bit longer to, to do, but not too long. Uh, so we'll go ahead and wait. Okay, so now uh, it's done uploading it. So we can go ahead and shut the radio off. Take out our programming cable. Turn the radio back on. Um, if you're in, uh, I'm in memory mode. To switch between memory and VFO, it's this button down here in the bottom left. Um, so now I'm in memory mode. As you can see, if you scroll through, it's got my repeater 
So I've got two repeaters in there, then a weather channel. Um, and yeah, there you go. And you can set it to scan um, and, and whatever. So it's pretty easy to program from there. Um, if you have someone else's radio, you can do the same pro process to copy theirs in and then copy it onto yours. Also, Chirp is really nice in that uh, you can save them as I believe .csv files, so you can email them between people, and of course you can uh, get um, the CSV file is not proprietary to the radio, so you can do um, so. Like let's say you have a club and you want to get all the local repeaters, and you can you can email the the file to everyone in the club, and then um, they can put it on each of their radios, even if they're different. So um, it's a pretty pretty handy little feature there. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, you can leave a comment or send me a message if you have any questions. And uh, thanks for watching, 73.